So, it really does. It's been a long time since the first Frozen. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like um, like my kids were like just born or something. Yeah, I get my, you're actually older than my daughter. Yeah. They, did you know they made five Fast and Furious movies since <laughs> the last Frozen wow. movie? Wow. How old is your daughter? My daughter's five and, a half. five and a half. Yes, my little one. Yeah, yeah. so it was before she was it's born. It's been six years. It has been but six years. But it's also been sort of six years in the making. And this movie is it has matured with its audience. That's what I'll say. Is that the idea with the movie? Is that you want those same kids who were little when it came out, now it's it's tailored towards them, or is it tailored towards you their... You could do both. It's the same philosophy as the Fast and the Furious franchise. <laughs> <laughs> you want to grow with Vin Diesel's character. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I see, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I feel like we're in inside the actor's studio just watching this great interview with the two. I yeah, you, like you got really good seats for like you guys look like you look like auction winners right now. <laughs> this movie, by the way, I'm sure you know this, but the movie set a record for ticket advanced ticket sales. So people are obviously very excited to go Exciting. see it. Hey Siri, how much do I see of that? <laughs> <laughs> That's not an I Apple know. Watch. I yeah. just realized yeah, yeah, the no, joke doesn't not, work. That's not it Apple It doesn't work on every watch. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't respond. But that's, so you guys, the premiere is across the street tonight. Yeah. Do you have uh, big groups of people who have jumped on board? Kristen, are you bringing your daughters? Uh, no, I'm oh. not. They don't do well in situations where I can't pay attention to them. So they ah. don't know about premieres. They don't need to know. They demand your full attention. Correct. I see. So I'm bring, I'm actually bringing an auction winner because I had a raffle. I'm an ambassador for the Women's Peace and Humanitarian Fund. I will not make them sit in the back. <laughs> uh, right here. <laughs> and, yeah, so hey, Dina, how about you? you? I am bringing my son, who's 10 years old, and he's bringing his good friend. Oh. And um, they love basketball and not so much into Disney princesses. Oh, they're not. So I made sure he had like a friend just in case they were super bored. And um, <laughs> I just wanted to see that mommy's cool just for once. I just, I hear I'm hoping one day he hears the music and he doesn't tell me to shut up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's hard to hear your mother sing. I don't know what it is. There's something in our DNA as human beings that we reject it. Yeah. And yeah. Do, does your son, he doesn't think you're cool at all? I think, I mean, he was in a music class and the teacher asked everybody who their favorite um, singer was and he actually raised his hand and said his mom, but he didn't tell me that. Oh. His teachers told me that, but normally when I'm in the house uh, practicing all the songs like from Frozen and they're really high and really annoying sometimes when I'm practicing them Are over sure and over. Are you it wasn't like uh, my mom joke? My mom! <laughs> <laughs> And your your mom usually, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But he's young. He's hey young. Siri, did that joke work? <laughs> <laughs> no, but he actually he's like he's he's had moms be like, I mean, little kids say, my mom um, sings "Let It Go," and he's been like, so do I. And they're like, no, my mom sings "Let It Go," and he's like, no, my mom really sings "Let It Go," <laughs> yeah. and nobody believes it. <laughs> yeah, well, they, you know, they should. Maybe you can let him carry this clip around, and then he, people will know. <laughs> Jonathan, what about you? Do you have an entourage? I have a huge entourage. Who's in your entourage? <laughs> From Lancaster, Pennsylvania. So it's oh, like Oh, wow. Half That's Amish night. country, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. It's a half So they've never seen like moving vehicles and so like <laughs> this is really going to be something it for them. It took them weeks to get here on the Amish country. <laughs> <laughs> weeks. But they made it just in time. <laughs> it's my boyfriend, my mom, my brother, his wife, and my two-year-old and four-year-old nieces. Oh boy! Oh, you got to be so number cute. one uncle. Yeah, number one uncle. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah. Totally. And Josh, your children? No, I'm bringing a couple of friends. Uh, Tyrese, The Rock. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think again Sean you've Rodriguez. got the wrong movie. Is, yeah, well, yeah, you're confused. You know, uh, <laughs> I uh, I have my kids are coming. Uh -huh. uh, my parents are coming. Okay. Uh, it's basically the same as Jonathan, just Jews. Uh huh. <laughs> I had so. Jews coming too. <laughs> Jews in the house. So there will be a lot of Jews at the thing tonight. Yeah, is what you're saying. Yes. Okay, great. Well, that's good news. <laughs> 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 have you told your kids? Any of you, what happens? Because it is like, it's a secret. And yeah. Sterling K. Brown was here the other night. He wouldn't even tell me if he sings in it. I told my kids all of it. 
You did. Yeah, in an attempt to do what Adina's doing, which is you just so badly want your kids to think you're cool. And I say that to them all the time. I'm like, you don't get it. I'm literally a cool mom. You don't understand <laughs> yeah. how cool I am. And they, do, what, they want nothing to do with it. So when we first read the script, like two and a half years ago, three years ago, I came home and I was like, OK. Here's how it goes down. And I told them everything, and I told them, just keep it a secret. Then it occurred to me, kids are bad secret keepers, yes. and I'm in breach of my contract. Yeah. So I, have, I am two weeks out from these heart palpitations um, going away that Disney won't sue me. Oh, I've really? got two more weeks. That was a big mistake, really. Yeah, yeah. Yes, because I've met your daughters, and they're very talkative. I know. And I could easily... <laughs> I could I easily, why. I could see them just, <laughs> I could see them telling every, telling all. I blew it. I, I wanted an ego boost. I wanted them to be like, "Wow, that happens," and then I, I blew it. So. And did they told did, me the entire plot line, by the way, of the oh. Usual Suspects? <laughs> <laughs> did you tell your kids? I showed my kids the movie. I didn't tell them anything. I oh. showed it to them, and then. I started freaking out because I too was like, oh, I think I signed some Disney agreements that prevent me from doing, from right, letting yeah. them speak about the spoilers. And afterwards, I would like put them to bed at night and be like, remember, we don't talk about it. And they're like, <laughs> you know, and I'm like, cause you know, daddy wants you guys to keep having dinner. <laughs> to be able to sleep with a roof over your head. Daddy loves you. Daddy would hate to see you ripped away That's from your daddy. That's your version of a non-disclosure agreement. <laughs> yeah. That's how they, hey Siri, is that how non-disclosure is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if your daughter's just blame it on the gad kids. Yeah, I'm gonna, <laughs> that's, that's right. what I'm gonna do now. Yeah, yeah they're the like, ones who like, blab. <laughs> I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised that while we're speaking about uh, secrets by this story that we found, Frozen 2 Elsa, actually Kristoff's sister in Family Secret Shop. Whoa. Would yes? that mean that Anna is also Kristoff's sister? Yes, it would. <gasps> it's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> Who wrote this? <laughs> My I don't kids know. wrote this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the cast of Frozen is here. We'll be right back to see what's from the movie. <laughs> Um, uh, lion, grizzly bear, uh, monster, brown bear, angry face, black bear, uh, uh, Hans, uh, uh, unredeemable monster. Greatest mistake of your life. We didn't even kiss you. Villain. Oh. oh. We all kind of got it. Okay, Olaf, you're up. Okay. So much easier now that I can read. Uh. Lightning round, boys against girls. Uh. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. Go. Unicorn, ice cream, castle, oaken, teapot, mouse. Oh, Elsa! <laughs> I don't think Olaf should get to rearrange. That's Kristen Bell, Adina Mazzel, Josh Gad, and Jonathan Ross. Frozen Two opens November twenty second. Jonathan, you have a uh, you have a song in this one, yes? I do have a song in this one. It's okay yeah. for you to say that. Finally, I think so. yeah. Finally. yeah. Bobby yeah. Kristen, who wrote the music for the first movie, wrote music for the second, and they wrote this amazing 80s jam. I heard your mother is like a huge fan of, of Frozen in the first place. She is, yeah. She's got frozen tissues. She's got, fro <laughs> she's got actually duct tape with my character on it hanging in the garage. <laughs> what do you mean, <laughs> duct tape? I don't know where she got the Kristoff Sven duct tape, but it exists and it's in my garage. Is that your favorite piece of merchandise involving your character? Hands down. Well, how about you guys? Well, what is there anything that's caught your eye that you thought, oh, that's uh, unusual? Well, there's an Olaf potty training toilet seat. Oh, <laughs> that's pretty it? unusual. Not quite as unusual as duct tape in a yeah. Duct tape is garage. utilitarian. That's pretty <laughs> yeah. I know. Well, kids love duct tape. I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> it's for little cool. girls especially. Yeah, I but like the sandwich bags, but I can't really use them because my son would be embarrassed. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. Kristen, you have anything? I mean, every everything, even though everything. everything, but it's rarely my kids. They have the dolls, but everyone at school has all the Frozen stuff. You just see it, every, you, it's, it's hard to believe how many things have Frozen on it. Yeah, from like sandwich bags to duct tape, I and guess. And like the potty, for instance, the Olaf potty. Does <laughs> yeah. Olaf say like anything, you know, that re I haven't re used it in a couple of years, but. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I imagine you sit on it and he's like, I like warm stuff. <laughs>
God. How did you come up with the voice for Olaf? Was, did you, uh, was that based on a snowman you know, or...? <laughs> Uh, quite a few, actually. Um, you know, it was uh, trial and error. Uh, went in, you know, tried some low voices. Turns out, I am Olaf. Uh, doesn't quite work. Doesn't have the same ring to it. Uh, we, we originally, when I first started recording, we, I, he had a lisp, like a deep lisp. And then we realized that it doesn't quite work for a character who sings a song called In Thummer. <laughs> uh, so we killed that pretty immediately. It's limiting, yeah. yeah now, thing. you guys, both of you, are getting stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame this week. Woo! Congratulations on that. Woo! Woo Edina, will you? Is that something that you're. Your ten-year-old will will re, will respond to I, and I, think it's cool. I think so. I mean, I, I'm hoping so. I did not to brag about another movie or anything, but I just I have a small part in this Adam Sandler movie. But Kevin Garnett is in that movie, oh, and I'm yeah. hoping that maybe that will make me cool, and maybe I could like invite Kevin Garnett to give like the, the speech, speech Who at are the thing, you? and then my son would think I was so cool because when I was at the Toronto Film Festival, I didn't know him or anything. We didn't do any scenes together, and I went up to him and I was like, "I'll trade you. Do you have a little girl?" <laughs> he was like, "I do, actually." <laughs> I was like, "Okay, I'll sing something on the phone to your girls and make a video <laughs> if you'll give some advice to my aspiring basketball playing son." Well, have you figured out because that traditionally you get one or two celebrities who you know, somebody you have a personal connection with to present you with the star. They told us to pick two, and I think yeah. we've both been like... Yeah, because, I, I mean, I, these are my celebrity friends. I, I wouldn't yeah. invite them. I was going to ask you to do it. I will do it. I was it. like, he's walking across the street, but the, I think you're busy. Oh, and I, I am? Honestly, I don't have a lot... I'm not trying... I don't have a lot of celebrity friends that are, like, closest friends that I feel, like, bothering, and then I... <laughs> Could we do it for I, each other? I, 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 I love that you guys that, are just, like, like we're Figuring right this out now, yeah. <laughs> right here. <laughs> I mean, this is just the most... What about, there's two guys right behind you who can do it, too. Well, we weren't sure if, well, Jonathan's doing eight shows a week in town, and I felt oh. like, yeah. Jonathan's doing Little Shop in New York. Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. So Jonathan's out. Thank you. So, I started to get really desperate, and I said to my publicist, you know, John Travolta owes me a favor. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's great! <laughs> That favor. Like, he apologized to me years ago. It was like, anything you need, and I never called it in. So. Well, uh, listen, that's, that's, that's of course. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's gotta be. Yeah. That's so good. No. Yes. yes. Kristen Bell is so no, much more interesting. No, no, no. I'll do it for you, but you, that's so, that's amazing. You gotta go. No. He doesn't even know my name. How does he know what I did? Even better, her? even better. Well, You'll figure, figure it out. out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so listen, I have a, uh, something i like to ask you guys to do. We did this once with the Avengers. We asked them, the actors, to draw their character. And the results were quite wonderful. So what I have, and uh, if you mind passing that to Adina, and Josh, you mind passing that to Jonathan? Oh my You've God. each got your own little arts and crafts set Ooh. here. Oh my God. And what I would love for you to do, I got pads too, is to draw your character. And when we come back. You're serious? Uh, I... Listen, I've never been more serious than I am right now. And what we'll do is we'll take a break. And if you want to lean, you can here. I can hold that for you if you need. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of drawing when we're during the commercial. And when we come back, we will see the results. And already Josh is covered in purple stuff. So we'll be right back with the cast of Frozen 2. We've, um, you guys are hard at work and you're taking this seriously. I like that. There's no fooling Everything around going. Everything is a competition. There. Before the break, we've asked these guys to draw a picture of their character from Frozen. You had no preparation. You have nothing to model it from. And shall we reveal? Let's do it. Kristen, would you like to begin? Really good. Woo! Very good. Go. Is that your first time drawing? Wow. All right. Very good. Edina? Oh, That's really? Good. Gave it up. Wow. Very, it's like a fashion drawing. Very well done. Uh, Jonathan, I see you got a lot of colors there. <laughs> oh, all right. That's... Woo! You know what? It's, it's very Amish country. It's got a very, very, very puritanical kind of uh, feel to it. some duct tape back there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Josh. Uh, I'm, I'm so sad. 
<laughs> That's pretty good. I drew my character also while we were in the break. Yeah, hey, yeah, good job. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, if you guys don't mind, and I assume you don't mind, and if you do, you're monsters, we're going to put those online and auction them off and give the proceeds to Toys for Tots. Yeah! yeah. Yes, great. Yeah, just, yeah, I'll take them, I'll collect everything. When you were kids, when you were a young young people, what was your Frozen? What was the, the movie, whether it be animated or whatever, that you were nuts for? I was obsessed with My Fair Lady. Really? I watched it over and over again, and I would sing into the mirror, just you white, Henry Higgins, just you white. <laughs> wow. Wow. A very adult film. Yeah. Adina? Mine was Annie, um, the Broadway show, and then the movies, but the Broadway show. Did you go as Annie for Halloween and do that sort of no, thing? No, I didn't. I just, at the time, I wanted to work, I wanted to audition, and my mom wasn't, she would, she didn't believe in, in me being a working kid, so she, we would fight about it a lot, and it would stay in Backstage Magazine, you could only be like 4'11 or, or something like that, and I'd say, I'm getting too tall! And I, <laughs> <laughs> it was a very traumatizing thing for me. Jonathan, how about you? There, I had so many, but definitely The Wizard of Oz. Yeah. I was Dorothy in our production that we did. Yeah. I was, yeah, in my dad's barn. Love yeah. that. <laughs> you did a barn production, huh? Yeah. Wow, you're really going heavy with the uh, Lancaster <laughs> stuff. In right. the barn, huh? Wow. I know, and drag as well. <laughs> Josh, you? I also have a bunch, but I would go with Porky's too, probably. Mm. <laughs> that was... uh, no, I, mine was The Goonies. Mine was The, the Goonies. Goonies. Yeah. I watched that movie about 500 times, and, and I wanted to be Chunk so badly <laughs> and start a relationship with a deformed figure named Sloth. Uh, <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> And when did you realize, when did you know that Frozen, we, I'm sure you knew it was going to be a big deal, it's a Disney movie, but when did you realize that it was uh, well beyond a big deal? It's, it took a while. Yeah. I think when we, when we watched it, I think we all, we've talked about this before, so I can speak for the group. We felt like, oh wow, we kind of broke a mold. We did a movie about familial love and self-love and, you know, instead of romantic love. And we were, we were really, proud of the film, and then um, I think it was like just every week later, we were checking the box office going, oh, that's really hanging on. <laughs> <laughs> wow, there's still, that's really, yeah, that's holding, that's holding that number one. Yeah, yeah, and then of course it just became pervasive. It was just every, all the time, every kid, every little girl was belting her heart out, singing these Maybe songs. Maybe it was like a year later, Halloween, and it was just surrounded by really all hit. the little girls in, in the costumes. I, I remember, I couldn't get, bless you, I couldn't get <laughs> a, a dress for one of my daughters who wanted to be Elsa, and there, no one would sell it. And I remember seeing Bob Iger, who runs Disney, and I was like, I, I hate to ask you this, but I'm sure you have <laughs> other things to do. And he looked at me and he's like, I'm not gonna lie, I got the very last one out of our resort in Hawaii for like wow. his like grandchild. And I was like, oh, okay, could we split it? <laughs> <laughs> like, it was it was so crazy how it just overnight, it just sort of became this thing. Unbelievable, yeah. Did you ever get that dress? <laughs> uh, yes, I'm actually wearing it under oh, this. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure this is gonna be a whole, uh, another round of, of craziness. The movie comes out on November 22nd. If you're a parent, you know that for sure already. It's called Frozen 2. Kristen Bell, Adina Menzel, Jonathan Groff, and Josh Gad. Thank you all for being here. Thank you for your, your drawings. We will be auctioning these off online. We'll be right back with music from the Teske Brothers. Thanks for watching. And remember, every time you click the subscribe button, one of your enemies gets destroyed.